Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here, and welcome to episode 16 of Let's FIFA 14. And in this episode, we're gonna continue through uh, Division 4 and see if we can pick up a few more points. So, our, for our first game uh, in this episode, we come up against a Premier League squad, and it's me creating the first chance here with Moreno, but he will uh, block off my shot. But we pick up the ball pretty much straight away, and we try another shot with our taker, but we'll hit the post there. And at half time, that not much happened aside from those two chances. My opponent had one shot, but it wasn't on target. So we go into the second half, and uh, he gets a goal there with Benteke, the guy who always scores goals against me. But I get my luck uh, towards the end of the game. I make it 1 1, and I keep on the pressure. It was uh, quite lucky uh, in the game at times, but uh, here I get a chance with Jackson Martinez. I try out the shot, he will save it, but uh, we managed to pick the ball up again uh, here. And Sissoko, he will pass it back to Farella, who finds Martinez, and a little nice skill run here to go past two defenders before he puts it into the back of the net and gets me another win so we did lose the two first games in the division but we've been able to pick up three wins in a row now so we're sitting on nine points and it's looking a little bit better in the division and uh, I was quite happy about it getting that win uh, getting those nine points and I was ready to head on into another game and uh, we decided to to switch up squads, go back to the main squad uh, with uh, Ronaldinho in, and uh, we apply a contract there to Michael Richards, and then we head on into the game. And this was going to be uh, a really, really bizarre game in some way. He had a very solid Premier League squad, and he gets the game started just a few minutes played. I couldn't catch up with Sturridge. I thought he was going to pass the cross because most people do tend to do that, but he was clever enough to put it into the back of the net, and he do make it a one 0 I get a nice little goal here with the. A panner from the heel pass, but it was offside, and instead it's him breaking through, and he hits it in off the post. I couldn't catch up with Jarvis once he got away, and uh, yeah, he got a two-goal lead, so not looking too good, but we continue on trying to break through, and uh, I did create quite a few chances in the game, but there just wasn't enough power on some of the shots, and here I almost get a shot in, but a nice slight tackle to deny me deny me an open shot in on goal. So we continue on into the second half, Ronaldinho on the ball here, and he managed to get a shot in, but he hits the post, unlucky there, and then it's parted to break through, and this time around his keeper would save it, it was just, just I felt it was impossible to get a goal, and instead, a bad touch from me there after getting the tackle in, and he crossed it in, and Sturridge scoring another goal for my opponent to make it 3-0, and it just seemed like I couldn't get a goal in the match, I, I kept on the pressure, I tried to get back into the game, but uh, I just couldn't get the goal, and then here my keeper was locked onto the ball because of the bad touch, so he just kept on rushing, even though I wanted him to go back onto his line, and he kicks it straight into Christian Eriksen, and here he gets his hands onto it, and it bounces into Christian Eriksen, who gets another goal that way, and I was just like, Come on, I get a goal back to make it 5-1, but again, here in the final 10 minutes, my keeper just decided he didn't want to be a keeper, and I slipped up three goals in the final minutes, and I actually end up losing 6-1. He had eight shots uh, on target, and he scored six of those goals. I had five on target, and only managed to get one. So that was, like, in the end, I was just laughing at how stupid it was. My keeper just didn't save anything and yeah I end up getting completely hu humiliated in that match even though I felt if I had gotten maybe the 2-1 goal it would have been a way more even game but that's how it is and we head on into another game in hope that we could make up for that stupid loss there and we do actually not get the best start here. He goes with the shot and he makes it 1-0. So a bad start to the game. But I try, of course, to get it back. Here's Osvaldo on the ball, making his way into the box. And we take the shot, but it is saved by his keeper. And then it's Ronaldinho on the ball, uh, creating a nice little chance here with the skill moves, making his way into the box. And in the end, we do get a shot in, but it is off balance a little bit. And there was a guy uh, commenting on yesterday's episode suggesting that I should try and avoid the kind of off balance shots, which you're often, you're often off balance if you shoot straight after a skill move and that is maybe something I'll have to adjust to and might be one of the reasons I didn't convert that many goals for example in the last game because in FIFA 13 you could pretty much you didn't really have these off balance shots uh, the same way you do in FIFA 14 and maybe I'll have to adjust to that a little bit because it ended up costing me another game here not being able to put the ball into the back of the net despite trying trying out shots they were just weren't qualified enough and I lose 1-0 so that is something I'll have to step up in my game and um, and uh, yeah, we, we're not looking too good in the division now. We're sitting on, sitting on nine points after seven games. So we have three games left. We cannot win the title, but we can still promote. We'll need to get seven points in the final three games. So a loss cannot be afforded. One draw can be afforded, and we will need two wins as well. So... um. 
when I went into this game, I played a little bit more to win than just to uh, to get the fancy goals. Uh, I wanted to get a, a lead, uh, early lead into the game before really going for the skill moves. I do go with a few skill moves here with Michael Richards, but I decide to cross it in to see if I can get a header in. But instead, it's a little bicycle kick there, and we pick up a corner, and from that we will head it in to make it uh, to make it one. It'll get into the lead, and then I felt a little bit more comfortable uh, having that lead, and my opponent wasn't uh, wasn't creating that man many chances in the game and I went with a few skill moves I get a little bit of a lock and I will make it 2-0 there straight from kickoff uh, in the start of the second half and we get another chance Ben Arthur on the ball here we pass it to Sissoko we flick it up trying to cross it in for some sort of fancy shot but it ends up being a header and saved by his keeper and instead he does get a goal off a corner but it didn't matter too much because I will hang on to the lead and I will win the game there and now sitting on 12 points and it looks a little bit better two games left I need four points so still I cannot afford to lose but still uh, if we win the next game it will be looking quite good so we head on into into the second last game in the division and we come up against a five at the back with a very very good players uh, uh, Thiago Silva uh, Aguero, Villian, and look at that finish, he starts the game off with like, that shot uh, volley from Villian was just insane, and he, he gets another goal, continue out to jumping Micah Richards in the box, and he heads it in to make it 2-0, but I will get my lock as well here, it bounces off his defender, and I will get a goal to make it 2-1, and I couldn't afford to lose the game, so I was really happy to get that goal just before halftime, and could uh, continue, He'll be, he will be out muscled off the ball here by Jackson Martinez, I make my way into the box, and just before he managed to catch up with me, I put it into the back of the net. I get a draw against a very tough opponent, and I still have the chance to promote. I need three points in my final game, and that will be in the next episode, which is either out tomorrow or on Friday. Not too sure about that, uh, about that yet, but that's all, guys. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the episode despite two stupid losses. But yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later. <laughs>